Mrs. Pelosi has lived the life of an entitled person. She can't even identify what average Americans are going through. Well, uh, she also didn't identify with Wolf Blitzer yesterday. Wow, what a contentious exchange. Again, and I ask you if you're if you don't like Trump, are you good with him wanting to put twelve hundred dollars into the hands of many many Americans who are struggling? One point eight trillion on the table. Pelosi won't even sit at the table because she is desperately trying to prevent Trump from having what would be perceived as any kind of victory politically. So here they were yesterday. Here's Wolf Blitzer and Nancy Pelosi one on one in a head-snapping, remarkable interview. We're talking about the consequences of a pandemic, the, the symptoms of a problem that the president refuses to address. But you know, and that is, Madam and that is the coronavirus. We know, that we, is we the, know coronavirus. the problem out there, but there are millions of Americans who have lost their jobs. They can't pay the rent. Their kids need the food. That's right, and that's what we're trying to get done. $1.8 trillion, and the president just tweeted, stimulus, go big or go home. He wants even more right right now. So why not not work on a deal with him and don't let the perfect, as they say here in Washington, be the enemy of the good? Well, I will not let the wrong be the enemy of the right. What's wrong with $1.8 trillion? Well, I, you know what? Do you have any idea what the difference is between the spending that they have in their bill and that we have in our bill? Do you realize that they have come back and said all these things for child tax credits and earned income tax credits or helping people who have lost their jobs are eliminated in their bill? Do you realize they pay no respect to the fact that child care is very important for people whose children cannot go to school because they're doing remote learning, and yet they minimize the need for child care, which is the, is the th- th- threshold with which people, mothers and fathers, can go to work if they have that. Do you have any idea of how under, that's precisely uh, why, Madam Speaker, their that, concern, that, that's why their it's, so, concern. it's so important right now. Yesterday, I spoke to Andrew Yang, who says the same thing. It's not everything you yeah, want, but, you know but what? there's you, a lot okay. there. Honest to God, you really, uh, I can't get over it because Andrew Yang, he's lovely. Yo Khan, Ro Khan, he's lovely. They are not negotiating this situation. They have no idea of the particulars. They have no idea of what the language is here. I didn't come over here to have you. So you're the apologist for the Obama, excuse me. God forbid. Madam, Madam Speaker, I'm, God I'm not an apologist. Obama. I'm asking you for, serious questions because so many people I'm are in desperate you need we, right now. Let yeah. me ask you this. Okay. When was the last time... Let me, you, let me respond well, to well, you. Let me ask you, you when was the last time, Madam questions. Speaker, when was the last time you spoke with the president about this? I mean, she's losing, she's losing this issue. The Democrats are losing this badly, and everybody knows it. You lost Wolf Blitzer. You're, you're accusing him of being an apologist for the Trump administration? Wolf Blitzer? Have you seen CNN? You see, in her own answer, she admits what they're trying to do. The Democrats are trying to load this up with child care stuff and voter ID crap and all these laws and or all this spending that has nothing to do with getting money into the hands of struggling Americans. You want help, you want to help someone with child care? Let them buy groceries and pay a month of rent. Let them let them have some money in their bank account. This thing got even more hin- unhinged as uh, Wolf Blitzer tried to wrap it up. Nancy Pelosi not only lost badly on national TV, but is they're losing the American people on this. You you have got you have got to agree. Even if you don't want to vote for Trump, you don't. You've got a president who's trying to get financial assistance into the hands of millions of Americans who need it, and you've got a, a, a Speaker of the House representing a party that is refusing to help Americans, and everybody knows it including Wolf Blitzer. And I thank you for giving me the opportunity to say that to you in person. Right, Madam Speaker, these are, these are incredibly difficult times right now, uh, and we'll leave it on that note. Thank you so much yeah. for joining no, we'll us. We'll leave it on the vote that you are not right on this, Wolf, and I hate to say that to All you. Right. But I feel confident about it, and I feel confident about my colleagues, and I feel confidence in my chairs. It's not about me. It's about millions of Americans who can't put food on the table, who can't pay the rent, and we represent them. And we represent them. Getting by these long food and lines we that we're seeing. Them. I know we you know are. Them. I'm, I'm just we saying. We represent them, and we know them. As we, we say, we know them. We represent them. Don't let yes. the perfect be the enemy of the good, as they say. It is here nowhere in near perfect.
Madam Speaker. Always the case, but we're not even close to the good. All right, let's see what happens because every day is critically, critically important. Thanks so much Thank for joining us. Thank you for your us. sensitivity to yeah. our constituents' needs. I am sensitive to them because I see them on the street begging for food begging for money. Madam Speaker, thank you, you so much. Have you fed them? We feed them. We we'll, feed them. We'll continue this conversation down the road for sure. <laughs> wow. What, the, the sarcasm, the, the anger, the vitriol, that's Nancy Pelosi on full display. See, nobody ever challenges these people. Nobody challenges Biden. Nobody challenge, challenges Pelosi. And you know me, I'm, a, uh, I'm an ambassador of the giving credit where credit is due. Bravo, Wolf Blitzer for speaking on behalf of a lot of struggling people, who many who listen to this radio show. What would you do with $1,200 right now?